seers, the sages, and the pure in the heart can see our aura. If we do something right, we are God realized, we are God uh, loving and one with God. Our aura is golden, is brilliant. If we do something wrong, we hurt other people emotionally, physically, or mentally, or spiritually, our aura is dark. People can see us, we cannot cheat. That's why we have to keep ourselves beautiful. Welcome to this week's Science and Spirituality, where in the second in a three-part series, we highlight the highly intriguing work of Russian biophysicist, inventor, and pioneer of the innovative scientific field called electrophotonics, Dr. Konstantin Karatkov. One of the uh, instruments to measure energy are bioelectrography instruments. It was in 1777 when German physicists found that in electrical field you can see light coming from some subjects. Uh, it is all related to electricity and photons. Our team was able to transform this to a new stage. So it is transformation from photography to digital computer processing and digital analysis. In electrophotonics, now after 15 years of development, we have developed it to a very high uh, technological status, using a lot of computer processing. All information that we have, it is based on nonlinear mathematics, modern image processing. The gas discharge visualization or GDV technique invented by Dr. Karatkov allows for the real-time study of energy fields or auras emanating from humans and other objects. In today's discussion, he'll cover some of the properties of these energy fields, as well as explore the realms of consciousness and intention. In his scientific investigations, Dr. Karatkov has discovered that the energy field that each of us has varies in size by time of day. He now explains more. Uh, we have a notion of cycle, of activity for everybody. Typically, we, have, we start from low uh, amplitude to higher amplitude during the day. Then we came to low again by 5, 6 p.m. It's normal, typical cycle. It's related to the activity of sun, uh, so it's uh, related to light. And of course, this cycle good when the person is in good health. When there are some disturbance, for example, you change your uh, time by flying or you change your time uh, by some different behavior, uh, you don't sleep at night, you work hard at night, uh, you drink, you smoke, then of course it can change the cycle. So for healthy people, for children, the cycle is very clearly presented. One way to expand our energy field is through exposure to the sun. Everything that we have around us, those are originated from sun, from photons. Because uh, plants accept photons, then they use water and air and they create matter. So, uh, of course, sun is one of the obligatory essence for our life. Studies by many renowned scientists have shown that our intentions or thoughts are enormously powerful and affect our energy field, as well as the energy fields of those around us. Dr. Karatkov has performed much research regarding this phenomenon. Energy is one of the key notions of science. Energy can transform to one form to another. We are now have understanding that we can generate our inner energy by our mental intention, by our mental force. And this, of course, is the topic of new science, new biophysics. And we are developing this both from conceptual point of view and from practical point of view, from instrumentations. We really the masters of our energy field. Uh, energy field strongly depends on anxiety, on stress. So if people have in, uh, in anxiety, if they trouble about something all the time, 
if they have negative emotions, negative thoughts, then it will have tremendous influence on their energy field. So, you can change your own inner world, you can come to inner peace, you can get rid of negative thoughts, negative emotions, then you may have really strong energy field. And the first indication, those are dreams. If you have positive dreams, interesting dreams, then you are in positive state. Some people have very strong, powerful energy field, and if they send negative information, then this negative information may have tremendous influence to other people. So, it is very important to understand that by our intention, by our uh, mood, we influence the world. We influence other people, and we can really change condition of other people around ourselves. We have a lot of experiments on uh, how people uh, interact with each other, and how they influence each other. And we really can measure how people change other energy field with their own energy field. Uh, we can tell about the energy of love. If it is conditional love or non-conditional love, then it has tremendous influence to energy field and uh, well-being of a person. Now it is proven in many experiments that when children are raised up in love, they are much more healthy, much more established in their life compared with children who are raised up without care, without real love. So, it is experimentally proven. Science now acknowledges the existence of a vast ocean of cosmic energy that embraces all the planets, stars, moons, and celestial objects in the universe. The same energy field, sometimes referred to as an intelligent cosmic consciousness, connects us to everyone and everything else in the cosmos. Now, in uh, the 21st century, we finally start developing the science of consciousness. A lot of people with high spiritual level, high consciousness level, have very strong, very powerful energy field. When people achieve this level of consciousness, they create for themselves very good energy field. You can do it in real life, in everyday life. It's possible. Then you will have same type of energy field as the most sacred um, same. Through the operation of the conscious sea of energy around us, the entire universe manifests and unfolds according to our thoughts, dreams, ideas, and intentions. In the Bible, our heavenly nature is affirmed in the following verse. I said, You are gods, you are all sons of the Most High. Psalm 82, verse 6. We are truly participants in the evolution of the universe, our world, and the space we occupy in the vastness of the material dimension. Dr. Karatkov's work makes us aware that our focused intentions play an important role in influencing physical reality and the direction of our world. And in our research we have uh, a lot of experiments where we try to prove that our intention, our conscience, has absolutely direct influence to the world. It's a new line of science that is trying to prove that our consciousness has absolutely clear influence to generations. So, uh, how you raise your children, in which, um, I would say, condition, in which, not material, but uh, uh, consciousness condition, spiritual condition, will influence their development in, in their lifespan. So, consciousness may have influence to energy. Consciousness may change material world. And this is very, very important message for humankind, for people, uh, to get this understanding that with our consciousness we really govern our world. Dr. Karatkov is also the author and co-author of several books, including Measuring Energy Fields, State of the Science, Science, Aura, and Consciousness, 
new stage of scientific understanding, and Light After Life. Light After Life takes a close look at the afterlife. We have a special book published, Light After Life, and it's published in different languages. It was a big series of experiments in human energy in life stage, and what would be the transformation of energy after death. It was inspired by a book of Raymond Mondi, who uh, describes the process of uh, transition from life to death. So we did a big series of experiments in clinical environment, with a big team of doctors supervising this process. And it was found that after death, uh, we have this transformation of energy. So it's not the end of everything. It is transformation. We can tell about transition from life to death. We can tell about threshold when people transform to another state. And now we know that there are a lot of cases when people can pass this threshold but then come back. So it was found that uh, energy has the cycle of transformation after death. And finally it comes to some in animated state. So we interpreted it as the process of separation between our informational self or between our soul and physical body. It takes several days, it depends on different conditions, and this is the process of separation. In all religious traditions, there are the process how people separate from this world to another world. Those who study reports of near-death experiences also state that death is a transition, the end of one journey and the beginning of another. This matches what those who practice meditation say regarding the soul leaving the body on the physical plane and entering the astral plane or higher. Um, I've been discussing with people in Tibet, in India, who practice this journey to another state. Uh, but they tell that it's possible to travel outside of the body, can train uh, your uh, spirit, your soul, to travel outside of the body. But please don't try to go to another world. Uh, for any spiritual practice, of course, you need a teacher. And this uh, oriental tradition, to have a good teacher. We try to establish a bridge between Western science, understanding of nature, and Oriental wisdom. We're grateful to you, Dr. Konstantin Karatkov, for opening new avenues to scientific research connecting the physical and unseen worlds of energy, cosmic consciousness, and intentions. Your research has shown that as we delve more deeply into the profound nature of science, we come face to face with our spiritual essence, our higher self.